Warning, what you're about to see is perfectly legal. This is a story about California juice and the big squeeze. No, not orange juice. Political juice. Juice, as in power and money. And who puts the squeeze on to get that money? You might call it the Sacramento Squeeze. It's a story about this man, John Perez. He's the Speaker of the Assembly, and he knows how to raise money. Lots of it. California voters have tried to limit the influence of big money on political campaigns. They passed Proposition 34. $3,900 was the most you can give to someone running for the state legislature. But Perez still manages to raise millions for the candidates and campaigns he favors. How does he do it without breaking the law? Simple. He asks his friends in the assembly. And John Perez has a lot of friends. Perez is a Democrat, and the Democrats control the California State Assembly. Now here's how Perez squeezes the juice. Last year, he asked Assembly Democrats to raise more than $127,000 apiece. Then Perez told them to donate that money to campaigns he recommended. To keep tabs on the money, Perez told the lawmakers to send the checks to a private office near the Capitol. A little unusual, but hey, perfectly legal. It worked like a charm. The lawmakers donated $5.8 million to the races Perez was targeting. Now, where did all that money come from? Special interest groups, big corporations, players who want some influence in Sacramento. Are you surprised? Now, here comes the fun part. The lawmakers who brought in the most money ended up in some very powerful positions. Turns out, the more money a lawmaker gave, the more likely it was that Perez, the Speaker of the Assembly, would appoint him to his leadership team or to a coveted post as chairman of one of the powerful juice committees. Remember, this has nothing to do with orange juice. A juice committee is one that controls bills that affect the financial bottom line of the wealthiest interests in the state. And in return, guess what? Those committees are the source of political juice, campaign contributions. Last election, 18 lawmakers came up with even more money than Perez was asking for, more than $150,000 each. Perez named all of them to juice committees. Six became chairman. Two guys running for the assembly for the first time each raised nearly $200,000, even though they're just freshmen. Perez appointed them to leadership posts and juice committees. Not bad for beginners. The number one fundraiser was Tony Atkins from San Diego. She hit the jackpot. Perez made her his right-hand woman, the majority floor leader. Now, it may not be what the voters had in mind, but it's perfectly legal. In Sacramento, that's how they squeeze the juice. <laughs> <laughs>